Everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to Sandy Bay Gold Edition. So here we are. We're checking out the Sandy Bay map. This is one that I, a lot of people have suggested checking out. Uh, so I thought we'd check it out on a Saturday stream. Uh, as you can see, I have the Massey Ferguson's here. Very nice. A nice little pack. We did a little bit of a mods mashup on it this morning. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, this is, to a certain extent, an extended mods mashup to a certain extent, but also checking out the map. So. Anyways, uh, here we are. We're at the shop, which is right here. We... I don't know how many of these fields we actually own. Uh, let's find out. There we go. Uh, it looks like we own quite a few, actually. Quite a few. Alright, let's go ahead and hop into the big guy right here. This is probably my favorite one here. Alright. Now let's take a drive. Uh, actually, we'll just take a... We'll just take this down, take the uh, Forge Wagon down while we're at it, might as well. I've never played this map, this is honestly the very first time I've actually liked this map before. I've never, uh, I've never played it at all. Yeah, this really is the first time, Bob. I've never looked at this map, I know it was a good map, I just haven't looked at it at all. Uh, so we want to head south. Oh, those are train tracks. Apparently I can't drive on the train tracks. What on earth? That totally looks like it's not train tracks at all. Okay, whatever. We'll go this way then. That big Mac is <laughs> my favorite. It's so nice. Right, we're in England. I should be driving on the other side here. Not that it makes a difference, but... Depends how you play, I suppose. Depends how you play. There we go. Let's take a look at this map. Looks pretty nice so far. Can you walk out to the beach? I wonder if you can walk out there. <laughs> There's even boats in there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it looks like you can. Nice. Nice looking map. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking map, actually. This is the uh, Massey, Massey Ferguson. Uh, this is the Massey Ferguson, but it's this is the uh, Sandy Bay uh, map. It's a Sandy Bay Gold Edition map. Yeah, it's pretty slick so far, from what I can tell. Um... Definitely has a it has a defo, definite coastal fish <laughs> coastal coastal feeling to it. Uh, seen the new vid on cattle crops? I have indeed, actually. I saw that this morning. I think this is to the main farm. Yeah, it looks like it's the main farm area here. This is a way of taking a look around the map. Oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, that water, uh, not amazing, but. I'm getting good frames here though. I don't have any really frame drops. Not nothing noticeable at least, which is good. Fishing time. Yeah, I've never done beach fishing. Uh, one of these days I'd like to do some of that fishing. What do I make of the map so far? Oh, there we go. Wow. That's kind of annoying when that happens. Don't know why that's doing that, but... Uh, it's funny because what's happened is... Uh, uh, what happened is my... My earphones kicked in. Because apparently one ear wasn't working, the other ear was. I'm like, I was trying to figure out why it was so quiet. And uh, it's because one of the earphones wasn't working. <laughs> and now that it is working, it seems super loud. I'm going to turn that down now. There we go. No, the cattle and crops vid. Uh, looks pretty good so far, as long as I can follow through. That's pretty tight there. Holy smokes. Uh, put furlough drive on. Uh, the cattle and crops does look pretty good, though, uh, from what I can tell. We own these two fields, but I don't know if uh, if we're meant to drive up like this, but we're going to do it anyways. This is the biggest tractor. Yeah, talk about a tight turn. Uh, this is the biggest tractor, and it's only 255 horsepower, so... I guess in England that's big enough, but... And where I live, it's technically big enough for almost... Almost all of the farms, really. So this is the Sandy Bay farm itself. All right, so this is—I don't know if this is the main field or not, but it's one of the field, one of the uh, farms, I should say. And is that a storage point for straw? Looks like it kind of. No, it's not at all. That's really random. Why would you put straw all the way around there like that and then have it be for sugar beets? That seems a bit odd. Maybe it's a way to. Hmm. <laughs> looks, it does look an awful lot like like farming sims, except with a new, with a new uh, 
graphics engineer or something. I totally felt the same. I'm like, I'm like, this is Fire Emblem with better graphics. That's all. That, that's all it is right now. I'm like, they're not bringing anything extra to the table at the moment. This is the main yard. Very nice. Guess who's back? Beavis is back. Back again. All right. Nice. Not a big fan of these ruts. Never have been on these types of maps, but whatever. Now the gang is here. Very true, very true. What do we got over here? A uh, little shop, a little uh, hoist type scenario. Not a hoist, but a crane. Really? Would you really park a tracker back in here? I don't think I would. It would just be a pain. Ah, there you go. That's much better. Lots of space there. Very nice. That's the fuel. This is a sign. What does the sign say? I like the signage. Exeter. Exmouth. Is that how you say that? Exmouth. Lumberyard, Sandy Bay Stores, Enchanted Forest. Enchanted Forest. What the heck is that? Uh, so as you can see, we have the New Holland. This is the CR9070. And I thought this came with a header trailer by itself, but it does not, obviously. Uh, we actually have to change this out because this cedar is too big for all the tractors we have right now. Or, like, or we get a bigger tractor. All right, so what, do you, what should we start on today, folks? Uh, last time we played on a map on last Saturday, we did... Uh, what did we do? We did mowing and harvesting. What should we start with today on this map? What would you like to start with? Is this the gold edition of the map? It is in, It is indeed, James. Silver, what's up, buddy? Hello, we have Case Quad Tracks, Cat Challengers. Just need to go to the right places in the UK, most probably in the east. Ah, okay, cool. The forest is a real... Are you serious? Enchanted forest. Big wizards live there. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! What should we work on first, folks? Let me know. This does have uh, soil mod in it, which is pretty cool. And I think it has the GMK in as well. Uh, no, it wouldn't have that. It would have one of there. Uh, soil mod, I think it has the chop straw mod in here. Start with livestock? We could do that. In what way shall we start with livestock? Like buy some? That would probably be helpful first. Uh, does this map have cows? I don't remember. I know it has dairy cattle, but I don't know if it has... Uh, oh, it does a beef and pig. Okay, that's cool. Soil mod. Uh, I love how he ignores the air. <sighs> oh, what did I miss? Makes air smell awful. Uh, buy some may help. What? Is that a turkey? The turkey disappears when you turn away from it. All right, whatever. Uh, buy some animals. We can do that. Uh, dairy cows, beef cows, pigs. Landon, what's up, buddy? Uh, that means we need a mixer. Let's go ahead and... I've never used this mixer before, so let's go ahead and get it. I think we have enough money for it. Uh, oh, we do, totally. Totally going to use this. I've like, never used it. Uh, can I reset it? Don't provoke me in. Ah, I shan't. I shan't. Now let's put this guy in. Group one. There we go. Uh, there we go. Some earth fruits, maybe? The bird is... Oh, don't provoke the bird. Yeah, well... I don't know. You're playing on California Central. I have that's a map I've checked. I've seen it. I haven't really checked it out yet. Um, but that must be the slurry. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's the milk. Looks like you can collect the milk manually. The sentry. You just know that the bird has an agenda, and it's not anything nice. Oh, I know. Birds are terrible. He has an agenda. Be careful. Especially when he eyes like when you you stand right beside him and he eyes you up like that. Yeah, you better believe he's got an agenda. All right, so this is the second largest one. This is the 70 or 6660. 6616. Hardly ever see you do potatoes. Uh, I know, right? I don't know if we're going to have time to do potatoes. Uh, do they have potatoes already planted? I could totally do that if they're already planted. Um... Well, it looks like uh, Field 8's potatoes looks like. Oh, 
Hardly. Hardly. Earth Fruit Trader. I'll be checking out the Homer DLC when that comes out. That thing's going to be kind of cool. Uh, with the Terradas. Uh, where's the exit? You can't drive on the... I really want to drive on the train tracks because it makes perfect sense because it goes right where I'd want to drive. What's up? Not much, Mark. How about you? Um, don't know if we have time to do so. Please, there is always time for Earth Fruits. I just meant like how I'm planting it and all that jazz. Uh, I feel there is Barty F23's potato. 23? I'm blind. Where is 23? 23, 23. Are they ready to go though? Huh? Oh, could be. Kyle, I'm doing well yourself, buddy. That's it. Never run into it. Don't put combines in a field switcher group if you have auto combine installed. I don't have auto combine installed. Uh, not for that reason specifically. Uh, just because I don't use I don't use auto tractor at all or auto combine at all. Just wanted something different than harvesting grain and mowing. I totally hear James. I totally understand that. That's why I ask you guys first. Because if it were me, I just would have gotten to the combine and started harvesting like automatically like that. No questions asked. But that's what I like doing. That's why I always end up doing it right at the start. Uh, so what we'll do then is... What we'll do is this. 23. Um, I don't... Uh, does this... I don't think this has the steamer in it. Declan, what's up, buddy? How you doing today? Now, does the train actually go by? I say we go to the beach for the day or something different. <laughs> I don't have... Actually, it's not true. I probably could find... Uh, oh, we could try that. Uh, let me get to the main... Let me just uh, chuck around here a little bit. Instead of taking that quote-unquote shortcut, which wasn't a shortcut at all. We'll just stick to the road here and see if it's any bit different. Hey, Ian, love the vids. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Breezy. I'm good. It's nice out for once. I was thinking about taking uh, the through the route for a ride in the snow. Uh, oh, we kind of get to the farm this way. Interesting. And this has the map animation trigger on it. Yes. Sweet. I'm happy I didn't have to fit around with that. That would have been annoying. I was foolishly waiting for you to, for your Twitch channel to go live. LOLs. I haven't streamed on. Uh, I even put the link to the YouTube gaming channel, man. That's why I, I did that. Ooh, Jingle Punks. Sig Swag? What on earth is that? Alright, so we got the big tractor there. Do we ha I don't think we have a trailer. Or do we? It doesn't matter about money, really. We're just having some fun checking out the map. Uh, no, we totally don't have a trailer at all. Alright, so let's do this then. So let's buy Potato Harvester. Get this guy. And we shall get... Tipples, do I have any? The Stuart. Um, we can use a Marshall one. They take potatoes, don't they? Yeah. Uh, let's go with red because we have all red vehicles basically. And. Shop's up there. Let's do it this way then. Oops. I think I would learn by now. Uh, where did that go? Uh, Ian, the Canadian rule is if it has a path and you can fit a vehicle, it's a road. And shortcut. Where did it go? I did just reset it, didn't I? Maybe it doesn't, there's no space left. Seriously? I don't know how I'm running into this problem already. And it's not like you can tip the tractors like someone else we know. I try not to tip things. Can you reset it now? I really don't have to drive that thing down here. Guess this will be the scenic route. This music is rather intense. I don't think it's that intense. Ian, where can I get the feeder wagon from? Ooh, now that one I believe is from Mod Hoster. Uh, I got it, uh, I watched a Killer Croc video a while back and he had it on there. Ian, are you going to stream tomorrow? Ooh, probably not. Sundays are my spend the day with a wife day. So I don't usually stream on Sundays. Let's 
That's what I usually do. Mod hoster, yeah, exactly. But you said... 23. I guess we'll just continue on this road. Could you imagine someone who's driving down the road? Yikes. Listen. Quit dipping those tractors. Jeez. Yeah, so I only stream... I only really stream on Saturdays is when I tend to stream. And that's because I... Saturdays off, and uh, my wife usually works on Saturday, so. so that's generally why I stream on Saturdays, as opposed to any other day. Now it looks like it can go continue, but I don't. It doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Let's go here then. Hey, Ian, glad I got to catch another live stream on my day off. Tractor supply, bleh, tractor supply, been working me hard lately. Ah, I haven't been into a, to a TSC for a while actually. Uh, last time I was in TLC it was in my hometown, or TSC, not TLC, TSC. Um, but they're pretty cool. They got some cool stuff in it. I do like the way this map looks though. Um, the lanes are super small though, but they're not. I don't know if these are. Can I drive through these? No. You can't drive through the hedges. But they give you enough space around the edges, so it's not so bad. Uh, Blickling is definitely a lot more open, that's for sure. Uh, Blickling farm, like, the lanes are, like, huge in comparison to this. But this isn't too bad. It has a soil mod in it, so if you like the soil mod, it's got that. Which is kind of cool. And it's got pigs and beef as well, which is nice. I think Daggerwind's playing on this map. Not my, it's a nice map though. They definitely did a good job, that's for sure. But I think everybody and every, everybody and their brothers playing on this map, basically. I think Silver's playing on it. Mr. Moose is playing on it. Landy Kid, I'm sure, is playing on it. I'm just checking it out. <laughs> I don't want to play it. Do a for a word of the day slow mod. Yeah. Well, what's up, buddy? How you doing today? Do any more contract work? What we got here? This is our turn. Yes, it is. It's as far as I can zoom out. Very cool. That's a nice little area right there. This is like still part of the farm. That's kind of cool. Uh, how much more work is soil mod? Um, it depends on how intense you want to get it. You can do like calculations and stuff and just go like full, like full steam, but you don't have to go that crazy. 23, so I think this is the way we need to go. Ah, let me go ahead and cab here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Um, yeah, a bit of silage keeping us on our toes. How are you? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. I had a little bit of a chit chat with Beavis this morning. We did a little bit of consultations. Talked about paint. 23, Bob says. If he's wrong, heesh. We own 24. I could have done sugar beets. Uh, the cool thing about the Homer DLC actually is it's going to have like articulated steering and it's going to have uh, crab steering as well, which is kind of neat. And the same thing goes for the Homer. Um, I forget what the vehicle is called now. I can never remember what the name of it is. Just made it to the stream. That's cool, Brian. Ha happy to have you here, sir. Chat with viewers, but don't reply to my email. I'm hurt. What email? Oh gosh. Black Fox. You sent me an email? I don't remember. Do you know how to add money in ETS2? Um, you can get a. There's a, a cheat you can get that just automatically adds money, I believe. But, uh. I don't. I would have to look into it. I'm sure you could do it relatively easily, but I have not done it personally. So there is a drop-off point right there. Looks like. I don't know if you could drop the potatoes off there. Automatic gate, which is nice. Cheat engine, that's what I'm looking for. Thanks, Will. Now I don't know if these are ready. Oh, you do it individually? Alright, fine. Let's open them individually then. What on earth? No, both at the same time. 
Now, this is 23. It says they are... We can just skip a day, it doesn't matter. Oh, shoot, forgot to take that out. Well, they'll be ready now, that's for sure. And the SS files are encrypted. Oh, are they? I didn't know that. Oh, that totally just withered them, didn't it? Oh no. That would have been annoying. Watch this. Soil mod will kick in. I thought I took growth control out, but I guess I didn't. Soil mod will kick in. And uh, it'll just wither them. I'm, I'm waiting for it. Let's go ahead and unfold. Turn the guy on. Yes, yes, yes. We're waiting for it to unfold. There we go. Turn wither off? Uh, it doesn't matter. Soil mod won't do it. Uh, if you have soil mod on, it'll just kill them anyways. Got a new toy coming down. Nice. Now, if they change color to like a gray. Great. Now you can create issues with growth control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that was my bad. I thought I took it out though. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, looks like they're okay. I totally thought I took them out though. That's strange. Alright, let's turn this on. Do this and this and this. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I did there, but apparently I decided that I needed to have both of them in there for some random reason. Did you really send me uh, an email, Black Fox? I, uh, if I did, I apologize. I get a lot of emails. Someone Norwegian? I don't speak Norwegian personally. I apologize. But Dr. Harvesten. Hello. Alright. Uh, the music in the background is just from YouTube. It's uh, YouTube's mm, music library from the audio library. And ooh, it's so quiet in here. I was feeling this is what the whole the new Terradas is gonna look like, something like this. I feel like they need to. Oh, what is that mod I have there? I need to take that one out. What is the zooming thing? Uh, pack called the Coon Profile Pack. It's really good. Oh. Mark. Nothing like a little bit of potato harvesting. As you can see, they obviously use the, uh, I forget what you call it now. They use the Google map and just paste it on the outside there. So when you look in the distance, it looks like hills, but really it's not. Welcome back. Is this the new edition of Sandy Bay? Yeah, this is the gold edition. Um, so I believe that is the newest edition. I would honestly have to double check because I this is the first time I've ever played this map, so I really don't know. Um, so you would have to tell me what is the mod? What? What's the mod you want to get rid of? Do. Um, the mod I want to get rid of is. I don't know what it does, but it's like a zoom. I don't know what mod it is. And I don't know where it came from. But it zooms in. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I should be careful pressing those buttons. I might stop the stream by accident. And it basically like zooms in on stuff, and I don't know why. I don't know where it came from. Dominic, hello. Yes, Ian sent you a message by YouTube this morning. Don't know if. Oh, it's a YouTube message. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that's why. It was only an hour ago, too, man. Think of download? I definitely do recommend uh, checking it out at the very least. It's a nice looking map. If you're British, you definitely would like it. Definitely is very green and lush. Kind of reminds me of some German maps a little bit. Are you going to stream ATS MP next week? Um, I was going to do it yesterday, actually, but I ended up uh, working a couple other things, so. Uh,
Sounds fair enough, Black Fox. You zoom in and you can't then zoom out. I don't know... I don't know, and there obviously is a zoom out button, I just don't know what it is apparently. Fast forwarding on mod hoster. Hmm, I'm British, but I don't like it much. Really? I thought you were, uh, I thought you were, do you live in Scotland then, Bob? I'm so confused now. I totally, uh, I totally thought you lived in Scotland. Or am I just confusing you with somebody else? It's unlikely because we kind of converse a lot. Let's do a little bit of a turn here. I love Potato Harvester and how acrobatic it is. It's ridiculous. I'm British, I don't like that much. Okay, that's what it is. I was so confused, I was like, what? Um, let's grab this guy. And we did pick up a, a trailer, didn't we? Oops. Oh, good, it was reset. Thank you. Doors. Why are they always closed? I'm American, but I like Daggerwind's videos. It's so I will look at. Yeah, uh, like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you wouldn't like it. I'm just saying you're more likely to like it. Like, I'm Canadian, and I... I like the map, it's nice. Scottish is British. I don't think that's true, Ben. I don't think that would be an accurate thing to say. Because I don't think a, Brit a Scottish person would consider themselves British. Maybe from the UK, but not British. There we go. Is this the version of the map that doesn't have manure heap? I have no idea. This is the latest edition of the map, the gold edition. So... Are you serious? Does that not hook up? Or am I just that off? I'm just that off. Um... This is the gold edition, so theoretically that should be the quote-unquote the final edition. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm like, that would've been terrible. Where is the potato storage point? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Saying Scottish is British is about as wrong as saying Canada is America. Yeah. Exactly. Where did those weights go? We had a weight here somewhere. Oh, there's one right there. Of course it's from the other side. Jeez, why is it always like that? I think we have a couple of them right here. Yep, to each their own, James. Not everybody's gonna uh, gonna dig them, so it's cool. That's why there's so many people on YouTube, right? Because not everybody has the same tastes. All right, let's go up here. These roads are pretty rough, though. Jeez. British is England, Britain. Really? Is that how you'd say it? But you, you wouldn't call yourself British if you were in Scotland, though, would you? I know Iambrew probably wouldn't. He's Iambrew, so maybe that's why. It's kind of... It, it kind of is, though, England, Scotland, and Wales are all part of the UK. So yeah. If you said United Kingdom, that would be one thing. But British, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not from there, so I had no idea. Can you get it on Xbox 360? Um, unfortunately, no. Um, and that's because there are no mods in... Actually, that's not true. There are some mods on Xbox now, but this one is not one of them. Do you have trucks? Yeah, there's trucks. Let's go this way. Uh, don't get me started about... No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. Really? Oh my goodness. Does this truck make that sound? This tractor make that sound too? Oh, if that's the case. Oh, these Massey Ferguson's are taking a little bit of a notch down for me. It's the second audio little quirk I've heard that really bugs me.
don't know. I don't know if you guys, I don't think you guys can hear it. But there's a little bit of a, a looping of the file and it's really, I can hear it when it loops around and makes like a little like jump sound. It doesn't sound nice at all. Ah, yoy. I wonder why that's doing that. It's weird. Uh, are the mods, da, da, da. never play this game. Ian, are you tired? I don't know. Do I look tired? Mm, let's get over here like so. There we go. Nice. Oops. And it's not just me then? Okay. Because I'm like, why is it making that sound? That's Because that is really annoying. How long are you going to playing for? Uh, Lorenzo, usually I stream for about um, two hours. No, the maps do not come out in consoles. You sound tired, I do? Okay. It's possible. I slept relatively well last night. Wasn't intending to. Alright. Why do you say I sound tired, Ryan? Um, is that going to work? No, I didn't think so. There we go. Probably exhausted from all the graphics work. Oh, probably. Yikes. Graphics work. I've had like three or four coffees today, so I shouldn't be. The Massey is a good mod, I agree, Joshua. But there are some little things that I don't like about it. After playing with it a little bit. The little sound glitches really would really bother me. Um, it really, because I, I play a lot in cab, um, I play a lot in cab, so when I hear the sound and it like makes like a looping sound, like a glitching sound, that is extremely annoying, especially if you're driving cab a lot, so, this one, uh, the bigger one I just was driving, the, the Massey Ferguson, the big Massey Ferguson makes a sound when you're inside the cab it sounds like, but when you're outside the cab it doesn't make the same sound, so, it's okay I guess. But, um, it, um, the starting sound on the other, the smaller Massey Ferguson's was the same thing. Like, it would start up and it'd be like, Bleh. so, I don't know. It's a bit strange. Uh, da -da -da -da. I have only one, I have only had one cup of tea, and here you are already drank a lot of coffee. Yeah. Ashton, good John Deere planter mods? Planter mods? No, but there are a couple cedars which aren't too bad. Uh, cedars. Like this air cedar, the 1890 air cedar is not too bad. Um, yeah, that, those ones aren't too bad. They come with a... They come with a uh, uh, oops. Fertilizer spreaders. No, sprayers. Here we are. They come with air carts like that. They're not too bad. Five minute time up for you. <laughs> Wow, that really is a good mood. Jeez. The sounds could use some adjustments for the Massey Ferguson's pack. Still a good pack, though. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, they work. No errors in the logs. Just can't say the... Uh, just can't, which I can't say for a lot of John Deere mods. Yeah, totally. The John Deere mods, you're always going to find problems with them. For sure. Beavis, he tried to act like he's a big man. Just ignore him. Huh. Um, yeah, but though the sound problems... Um, the sound problems in the Massey Ferguson's would bug me. Uh, I used to, I had a, on Tungstore Farm, I had a, there was a Deutzfall I was playing around with, or had a, the mod, I should say, and I found that it was not, it had the same sort of issue, which was really, really annoying, um, because I'd be driving and it would, like, skip all the time, and I really didn't like that, so. How much coffees do you drink? Uh, mostly, like, between two and three. Two and four a day, I guess. Usually two is about, two and a half is where I kind of stop. I have already edited all the Masseys in the pack. Oh, really? <laughs> was that for better sound, Will? Yeah, I don't blame you either, though. Um, I remember the video on Tungstorf. Yeah. Uh, I, there was a couple videos with that Deutzfire in there that made that sound. That was really annoying. Um, so, Ashton, DB, DB44, fixed mod, reskin of a King's 3800. Can I play American Truck Simulator, please? I love this game. Uh, I could, but then I would probably stop the stream and restart it as a new stream. 
Can you do some multiplayer? I could, but that means you'd have to have all the same mods I do, which I don't have. Um, is there five Massies? Yeah, there are. Uh, I had realistic sounds in cameras, cool boxes, air homes, horns. Uh, you'll have to uh, put a picture on the uh, Google Plus community. Serious Gamer, what's up, buddy? I hope you're doing well, sir. Hope you're enjoying this lovely Saturday morning. Well, it may not be morning for you, but it's still morning for me, so. Only by about 20 minutes or so, and then it'll be starting of the afternoon. Matthias, what's up, buddy? Do you have Manchester map? I do. I do have the Manchester map. Although I haven't played on it in a while, but I still have it. I considered making some personal adjustments to the map, actually. I'm doing well, Sirius. How about yourself, man? Does anyone know of any good maps for ATS? I haven't tried any maps for ATS. I haven't even modded ATS yet, uh, to be honest with you. Which is kind of surprising, actually. Um, I thought by now I would have modded it, but I have not. Doing fine, just got home from work. Cool. How was your day at work, sir? Uh, Ian, do you remember the Kins Chaser Bin pack from FS13? I do. Are you talking about that one? The 1050 grain with the tracks on them? 20 minutes to the afternoon for me, too. Nice. You must live in Eastern Standard Time too, then. Uh, what's your favorite farming sim 15 map? Probably the Manchester map. Although, uh, I have to admit, I do enjoy... I do really enjoy the Manchester map. Uh, Banticow is one of my favorites as well. And then, there's a couple other ones I really enjoy as well. Oh, I did put it in the right group. Oh, that's full. I have to unload. Now, where is the potato storage? Does anybody know where the potato storage is? Serious. Doing fine. Just got home from work. Kind of got lucky. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Cody, what's up, buddy? There hasn't been much groundbreaking stuff for ATS. No, there really hasn't been. Um, not yet. Yeah, I have converted it, and only problem is the tracks doesn't appear in game. Ah, that sucks. Does anybody know where the potato storage is? Potato storage. I'm sticking with the ETS. Main farm, I think. All right, let's check the main farm. In the main yard. All right, let's check the main yard then. Take a look around. See if I can hear the sound again in this tractor. Nope. It must be only once in a while, like... Yeah. It's when you when you drop down the RPMs, it seems like. That's when you tend to hear it. What kind of multi-fruit is on this map? I believe it has rye and oat, if I had to. Uh, in the main yard, the pit of surge is downhill next to the hay bunker thing. Alright, let's find the hay bunker thing. Well, if this was real life, so to speak, you would just stick all the potatoes at the edge of the field. Yeah, you could do that. You can... I could do that, too. Um... I could theoretically do that, too. Uh... Is this the main yard? Oops. It's not the button I was looking for at all. Yeah, that's right. Here. Let's go to the left here. It's an old school yard. Down the hill by the hay thing. There's the chickens. Ooh, look at this. Yikes. that it? No? Yes? What is that? Wood chips. Oh. Okay. Here is the wood chip. Uh, what do we got here? The vacuum from our sweeper wagon only had five bolts holding it in instead of 22. Wow! That is lucky indeed. Holy smokes. You keep sugar beets outside. Yes, Bob? And send the kids to pee them. Alright, so potatoes... No, nope, that is... That, is this the potatoes right here? Or is that the hay cell point? Looks like a hay cell point. That right there is sugar beets. Uh, is this potatoes in here? Yes, it is. Really? You're gonna make me back up? Yikes. 
Building the backs onto silage bays. It was the other way, Ian. The bale, that's the bale cell point. Yeah, that's what I thought. Has everybody played on this map except for me? Is that what's happening here? That's what I feel like right now. Everyone's like, oh yeah, it's right there. And I'm like, oh, I don't know where it is. And the five bolts are kind of cut halfway. Yikes. That's scary, man. That's super scary. I'm happy nothing happened. That would have been terrible. Fancy tater storage? Not as fancy as some other ones I've seen. Apparently everybody has played this map except for me. Go figure. I haven't yet. Okay. Whew. I thought I was going to be the only one here. This yard's pretty bumpy, though. Like, if you, as you're driving around, you're just like, ooh, ooh. It's pretty ridiculous. Started playing it on last night and loving the great map. Oh, cool, man. I have downloaded this map, but I haven't played it yet. I'm currently putting a new map on a dedicated server. Cool. Well, not as cool as Baldacchino, but that's another story. Indeed it is, sir. Indeed it is. I feel like the inside of this Massive Ferguson is a bit lower res like resolution than I think it should be. Like, especially like right here in the middle. It just seems that way. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like it's, it's not as crisp as it could be. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just being picky now. I've not tested the map yet, Ian, so you're not alone. Whew. I thought I was going to be like the only one in here who was like... Never played this map before. Okay. Apparently this is good. Uh, apparently there are other people who have never played this map before. So I don't feel so bad anymore. Alright. Let's make a turn here. There we go. And back to some potato harvesting. I don't yeah, I don't remember the last time we did potatoes. I think the last time I harvested potatoes. Did I harvest potato? Oh, well, that's the last time. Hmm. I don't remember, actually. Hmm. I'm trying to think now. I guess I can turn this tractor off instead of letting it idle there. I don't know. I'm trying to think now. Uh, do you have a list of mods, Ian? I do not, Ashton. I do not. Because I change my mods like quite often, like I take some ones out, put some ones in, uh, you might want to do a headland. There actually is a headland around here, Will. Check it out. Like, they have a bit of a headland already. Um, like a bit of a space. I guess it's on purpose. What would you rate Sandy Bay? It depends what you're comparing it to, but in terms of British maps, it's pretty good. I don't know, 7, 8, somewhere in there. I haven't played it enough to give it a really good, uh, really good rating, but I'd say it's, you know, between 7 and 8, somewhere in there. I'm not, I like the yards pretty nice, and they, ha they add, have a lot of details for sure, but there's always something. Modlets are a pain to maintain. You better believe they are. They are crazy. Um, last time you did potatoes. Was Tungstorf? That's right, yeah, I did uh, potatoes for the potato washer. You're not the only one who did did not play this map. Alright, that's good to know, Joshua. So it was when I planted them accidentally. <laughs> I don't mind planted potatoes, it's the harvesting part, it takes forever. Uh, it's the part of the animation protection program, animal protection program in England, uh, for the grass around the fields. Really? Animal protection? Seriously? Only 99% of 9 have played this map. Oh, jeez. Thank goodness I'm in the 0.01%. Mod lists are easy to maintain. I don't know. They can be. They can be just a pain too. I've thought about it. Like I might, I probably will do it for American Truck Sim because I haven't really added many mods to that yet. But even when I had mod list for 2013, people still asked for mods that were in the mod list. So that's why I didn't do one. Same here, James. I don't mind some British maps, but I don't go out of my way to play on them. That's for sure because everyone else plays on them first of all, and second of all, they're just not my style. Yeah, you cut it and hedges every two years. Ah, okay. I see we are talking about headland now, Will. Let's go ahead and do that now. 
do a headland in the back here. Make our lives a bit easier. Um, I'll have to leave soon because rugby is on it. It's England playing. Cool, what are they playing against? Ireland or Australia or... I don't know, I don't follow any sports, so... I'm like the worst person to ask. <laughs> uh, would you rate this 10 out of 10? Um, I don't know, I don't know. I wouldn't personally, but that's just me. To give Montes, you need to be on it from the start. Yeah, exactly, Black Fox. Like, um, if you don't do that, then it becomes a lot more of a pain. I haven't played this map either. I looked at it, but decided not to download it. Yeah, it's pretty solid though. Like, Ireland depends on who's playing. Serious. I'm playing Manchester on FS and watching the stream. Cool, man. Oh yeah, forgot about the Six Nation was on. It's a pretty bumpy road, man. Or field, I should say. They're playing Ireland in the Six Nations. Big, big match. I'll take your word for it. Um, as far as I know, rugby's rugby, and that's as far as it goes for me. <laughs> I don't know who win. I don't know. I don't even follow hockey, even though I'm a Canadian. When I tell people I don't follow hockey, they're like, you don't follow hockey? And I'm like, and you're from Canada? And I'm like, yeah. I don't know. It throws people off. I know, right? <laughs> it's going to wreck them. I don't know, serious. I don't know. Uh, Six Nation is Ireland, Wales, Scotland, France, Italy. Oh, okay, cool. So they have like their little own um, league, I guess you would call it. The Fish Gamer. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Almost full. Can't really hire a. Can't really hire a worker for this because it's not. We don't own this field, but it's fine. I have to leave now. Bye. All right. Have a good day, man. There you go. I'm surprised we're able to get all the way around the field. Honestly, don't worry, Ian. I don't follow hockey either. Okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yep. Right for me. Check back in half time. All right, man. Have a good day. Enjoy the rugby. I must have football there. Last time when the Super Bowl was on, people were like, are you going to watch the, the game? I'm like, what game are you referring to? And they're like, the football game? And I'm like, there's a football game on today? It was pretty funny. Don't drive over the crop. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, nope, nope, nope. 100%. There we go. Right. It's full already. I live in Minnesota and still don't watch hockey. Alright. Good to know I'm not the only one. Alright. Let's go up here. I played football soccer for American... Very cool. This dubstep. <laughs> uh, we were talking about your soccer. Your soccer, my football. Or my soccer, your football. I don't follow hockey either. Okay. I don't know. A lot of people who uh, who work on a farm don't have time to follow hockey or f any, s not too closely at least. Like some people do. Um, like my brother-in-law, he uh, reps hockey, uh, but I don't think he really follows hockey, so. I can hear that sound again. Of course, play the unloading just suggestion. That's what I'm doing right now, James. That's what I'm doing right now, buddy. Yeah, it's, oh, that's annoying. I can hear it, it's just. Foosball. Fussball. <laughs> uh, where are we here? Let's go this way. Uh, don't know if that's the way we're 
supposed to go. We're going to do it that way, though. Now, the problem is going to be... Um, oops. That's the wrong thing I detached. Alright, fine. Do that way. I don't know how many times I've done that. I've accidentally dropped the weight. Because I meant to detach the trailer, and I'm like, oh, I'll just detach the trailer, and it's not the trailer. Really? A little weight. You're not going to... Uh, you're not going to attach? I want you out of the way. So I can finish this. There we go. Thank you. Alright, so... Let's do... This. And straighten it out. Probably straight enough. Back this up. And we'll go straight back. I need to try and keep it as straight as possible. And then slowly back up like this. That should be okay. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Uh, hi. Typed it before you started it. Ah, sure you did, James. Sure you did. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Which Canadian you asking? I live in Ontario. That's where I live. Are we back to horizontal? <laughs> no, Beavis, we're not. Thank you very much. I guess I can do it in from in cabin. Probably make my life a bit easier. There we go. Uh, yeah, it was a conversation Beavis and I were having around today. How's it going, buddy? How's sit going? Is it going well? Alright, let's unpause the course. Like so. And head back. Let's see if that'll work. I'm sure it won't, but... Anyway, played Cry Primal? I have not. I did play City Skylines last weekend quite a bit, which was a lot of fun. I even recorded a video on it the other day. Um, but I have not done a lot in here. Did you know okay, so. <laughs> that Canada has more pipe bands than Scotland? I'm not surprised because we have the pipes and bands and all that jazz here. Uh, a lot of cadets get into that. Um, but that's, that's, that's not that surprising. And there's that sound again. I don't know if you guys can hear it. That is a annoying. I would give them that sound, I probably wouldn't buy these now. Because the fact that I hear it is going to bug me. It would, yeah. Well, it would, it would bug me, maybe not you guys, but I can definitely hear it. It's kind of fun. It's like punching people with a rock. Isn't that what art kind of is, though? Backpack music for the win. Actually, there's some pretty good, uh, there's a band called Dropkick Murphy, and they do like rock and roll with bagpipe music. It's pretty awesome. Um, there we go. Let's do this. And... What is this? F23 Tater Unload. This and this and select automatic for me. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. Silent partner. Partner. The fish gamer doesn't work like that. Bye. <laughs> Very true. Yes, it doesn't. I've been to the Fergus Island games before, but never the Maxwell ones. Well, the Maxwells are the biggest in. Um, Really, Massey? Give me a break. 
Um, but the Mac, uh, Max, ugh, goodness, the Maxville ones are the biggest ones. There we go. Now oh, we missed a bit. Whatever. Dropkick is from my hometown. Oh, is it? Nice. Cool. How much mods did you download? Probably quite a few, Joshua. I probably have about a couple hundred or so. I don't know. I don't keep track. To be honest with you. Ah, that trailer's at 98%. What's up, Landy? Landy, you back in the UK already? That's crazy, man. Where can I get that mixing wagon? Uh, that one is from... Mod Hoster, if memory serves. Long time no talk. I was actually talking about you in the video the other day. I'm like, I think Landy's back in the UK now. I should hop on TeamSpeak and see how he's doing. Because last time we talked, you were totally in the uh, you were totally in the chat. And you're like, dude, come on TS. Maxwell has the biggest Highland Games in Canada, I think. Yeah, that's right. Or the world. One of the two. Gunnar Olsen, first to last. Do I know the brand? Uh, Fiore, Fiorelli, I think it is. Uh, uh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, it would actually be easier if I did it this way. Uh, Ferrabole, overmixer. Oh, Canada. Yes, I am. Okay, cool, man. How was your trip back to the United Kingdom? I hope you are, hope everything went well. I'm assuming it did because you got back and you got back yesterday. It's cool. There goes the Mass Ferguson. And we're going to finish this headland. And we're going to tr keep an eye on that uh, tractor. Just keep an eye on it. All good. Excellent to hear, man. Excellent to hear. Did you have fun in Canada? Did you enjoy the lovely winter? It wasn't that bad, actually. It still isn't that bad yet. Alright, so he is turning into the yard. So let's just check. It's not in there yet. Let's just see how... Ah, oh, that's a shame. Look at that. That is terrible. Look at that. Ruins the whole mod. Yeah. Hate when that happens. Oh yes, excellent. Good to hear, man. Now you're uh, back in the UK for like what six months, I guess. Well, it's 9 a.m. here. Time for coffee. Need to bathe the dog and prep for a coffee bacon this afternoon. All right, Mike. Thanks. Have a good day, man. I hate the snow in Canada. I love the snow. I love the snow. Beavis? Did Beavis say he was going? I don't think so. Just three. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can do it. More snow and rain is on the way in. Uh, isn't that the way it normally goes? Let's see if this course play guy can do this job without making a mess of things. I think he's already had. No, oh, no, there he goes. Here he comes. Ian, message me when you have time at your leisure. Sure, man. That looks just like the Marshall trailer. No way. First time. Sweet. Look at that. Talk about. Pro right there. Time to get some work done. Have a great out day. YouTube Dairy Terry. Talk about pro course play skills. Look at that. That's awesome. Whoa, don't do that. Me going English. No, I just misunderstood what he was saying. He was saying goodbye to you. That's why I was like, what? That was nice. Talk about slick though, eh man? Just like, done. First time. Gotta love it when things work the way you want them to work like that. So, Landy, what's on the agenda for you now, sir, that you are back in the can in the Canada, in the United Kingdom? Ian, did you just record that without the trailer? Yep. Pretty cool, eh? It's magic. Now, now with turntables, two versus two. Yeah, you can do it with um, you can do it with depends. 
it depends on the trailer and like where the hookup is I find uh, some turntable trailers don't work very well um, with course play and some of them are fine and it depends on the tractor itself sometimes too I didn't know you could do that Norm yeah man you totally do that that's how you record the backing up course it makes your life so much easier so so much easier you can do it depends like some every every course is a little bit different and every map is a little bit different as well norm check out mr moose's tutorial on youtube did he do a backup tutorial i don't know if i've even done one of those yet i've done plenty of tutorials but Uh, I have recorded backing up, but never without the trailer. Same old stuff. Gotcha, Landy. What if FS15 came out in Canada? What would you do? What do you mean, Joshua? I expect FS17 would come out in Canada. You could use Auto Combine. I could. But I tend not to use Auto Combine. We go unload this I tend to uh, if I'm gonna harvest I just do it myself usually well or course play but it's usually how would I've discovered it's usually like either either auto tractor or um, or course play you don't if you have both it doesn't work very well what if came out in Canada what would you do buy it yeah most likely why wouldn't I buy it? Alright, let's get this lined up. There we go. And unload. There we go. So the new ca uh, video has dropped. Yeah, I saw that, man. I saw that today. Um, looks pretty solid, doesn't it? I just hope they... Uh, I hope it's all not smoke and mirror, so to speak, and it actually comes out that nicely. But I could say that's a pre-alpha build. They didn't do anything, but it was a pre-alpha build. I don't know if they have any, like... It looks like farm sim, except just better graphics at this point in time. So I hope there's more to it than just that. Oh yeah, Ian. The new logo looks great. I believe someone actually helped make that, sir. Thank you. I believe it was based off designs that were submitted by the community on the Google Plus community, which is pretty slick. Nick, what's up, buddy? How are you doing today? I have three farming sim games on phone, tablet, and iPad. Cool, man. I don't have an iPad, and I don't do any gaming on my phone at all, so... All my phone is work-related stuff. Pretty much. Time will tell. Yeah, exactly, Landy. Like, I'm kind of curious what's going to actually happen with it. And if it's going to be good or not, um, time will tell for sure. Um, I hope it turns out well, though. But I'm not holding my breath until I see something solid. Unfortunately. What do you think of the Massey Ferguson pack? It's okay. There's a couple little bugs that really aggravate me. But other than that, it's pretty solid. But it's pretty, it's overall, it's pretty solid. But there are some little things that just irk me a little. What do you think of it? Do I watch Daggerwin Robson? <laughs> uh, from time to time. Not every day. There we go. Let's unload this, these potatoes. There we go. Let's do another Headland is stream multiplayer. Uh, I, it is not, no. It is not. Z Z Z Z Z. What are you Z Z Z Z Zing for, Norm? No, server's still down. I don't know who so <laughs> what even know you're talking about anymore. I lost track of that one. Lost track of that one. You're not enjoying the harvesting, Norm? I asked everybody what they wanted me to do and I and they're like, harvest some potatoes, so here we are, harvesting some potatoes. I could theoretically put course play on here. Hello all. Hello armor suit. 
Yeah, I found something. LOL, never mind. Come on, Norm, you gotta, you gotta clue me in now. I'm told. Oh. Unless it's from ZZZZZ, according to someone else. What? Somewhat else? Oh my goodness. According to what someone else said. Yikes. How much tons of spuds do you have? Ooh, interesting question. I don't know. Not that many. Only 70,000. Man, you can. It's about someone else. Ah. I can only assume. It was, uh, I, can, I don't want, I don't want to make any inferences, but I think I know who you're talking about. Not sure. Not sure. Twenty is all grain. Seven is willow farm. What's that willow farm? Hi, Ian. Uh, how was your, just came on and had nothing to do and found your stream. So I'm glad you're on stream. Cool, man. I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well. Nice new logo as well. Cool, thanks. The Playa 83. LOL, you know. Hey man, to each their own. Everyone's got different tastes, right? I, uh... I got nothing. Actually, interesting enough, uh, I actually read an article this morning about potatoes and how they're actually making a return in, um... Alright, Kyle, how's it going, man? Uh, how they're making a return in Ireland, actually. Apparently, in Ireland, the average sale in 1993... Uh, in Ireland was 140 kilograms, that's how many potatoes they ate in Ireland per family, it was 140 kilograms um, per family. And then, uh, there was like, it was a downtrend basically, because I guess potatoes were played as like an unhealthy choice for, you know, healthy people and all that jazz. But what's happening is there's actually an increase, an increase in the number of um, uh, kilograms consumed in Ireland. So it's a growing trend, which is kind of cool. How was the Massey Pack? It's not too bad. It's not too bad, actually. It's not as good as Timber's stuff. Timber's is a bit more refined, but I'm sure they'll fix the bugs on uh, on the Massey Pack once people complain enough, I suppose. That's the true. Yes, that's true because I'm viral. <laughs> Alright, man. There we go. Hang out in cab for a little bit here. I don't know if I can turn it. Oh, it does work. Oh, that's cool. That's with the joystick. Um, oh, it goes all the way around. Nice. Uh, that's with the joystick from the <laughs> um, from the side panel. If I consumed, you mean eaten or drank? No, no, no. Consumed. Like eaten. Uh, we'll request a driver here. So when that guy's ready, he'll come back. Eaten specifically, they were talking about. In this case. Alright, Joshua, thanks for stopping by, man. Much appreciated. Hope you have a good afternoon. Drinking potatoes would be vodka. It's true. If you've ever seen the movie The Great Escape, which is from the 1960s with Steve McQueen, some of you probably have no idea what that movie is. But, anyways, if memory serves, in that movie, they actually make um, vodka from potatoes. Oh, now the question is, so that was done with drive control, stopping when you reach 100%. Oh, that's pretty good actually. I thought we were going to miss a whole bunch there, but it's not too bad at all actually. You should get the Spud and Sugar Beet mod, which the header is about 5 or 6 meters. Uh, I don't know if I... I don't have them. Ian only drinks coffee. Uh, I can't say that specifically, although I do prefer coffee over most of like, I My two favorite drinks would be water. So I drink whenever I'm not drinking coffee, which is, you know, I drink coffee in the morning primarily, and then water the rest of the time. 100%. And when I'm at work, I drink tea usually, and that's just because I'm... Uh, just because I want to make sure I don't hurt my throat from talking at work. You should play on the off USA map, the OGF USA map. I've thought about it actually. I haven't checked it out yet. Have you tried Court Farms? Nope. Maybe we can do that next week. Peanuts. Um, I uh, I did see a very interesting mob this morning, but I think it was for it wasn't. Uh, what, what the heck was it? Shoot. It looked like for wine vines or grape vines. Sorry. He won't get that cheaty mod. I can't say I've never used it before, Beavis. I think I used it on one of the uh, one of the maps I played on. 
that's why you put potatoes in a small field, right? Because of this kind of scenario. Because you don't want to be doing this forever. If 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 I had something better, to, if I had something different I wanted to do, I could. Can I do a let's play on Sandy Bay? It's possible. Like it's not not impossible. Um, I just already have two maps that I'm playing on right now. I'm playing on the Blickling Farm and I'm playing on Baladakino as well. So I probably won't pick up Sandy Bay as well. All right. All right. Let's see if we can make this turn. Let's see if we can do this. Well, that's not too bad actually. Uh, there's just too many farms. <laughs> there's too many maps now um, to play on. Uh, buy a Fent. I don't... Uh, do I have any nice Fents? I have a Fent Vario. Hence, you labeled as Earth Fruits Trader since. Ah. So that's what did it, eh? I didn't realize that was the case. Gotta love the airplanes in the distance on this map. Although, I'm one of the things that's kind of throwing me off is that usually when you harvest, the weeds will go away. But maybe that's been changed now. I don't know. It's possible. But that's been changed. When you're finished, the other Let's Plays. Oh yeah, that's possible. We'll do like Manchester Silos better on than oh, the West Bridge Hills ones. Mm. Oh, Manchester all the way. Ah, I wish I had Farming Sim 15. It's not too bad. If you have Farming Sim 13, it's pretty uh, pretty comparable, really. If I if you really have to like compare them, they are like pretty close. Graphically, they're not, but like gameplay, they're not that much different. It hasn't changed that much yet, so. When you're finished, oh, let's play. Yeah, that's possible, though, Catherine. That is pos possible. Could be side effects of your growth manager mess as well. Uh, that's possible, too, yeah. I honestly, if I could have sworn I took it out, but I must have put a map in there that I was playing that didn't have uh, didn't have soil mods, so I put it in, but I thought I... Uh, I thought... I didn't, have, I didn't have it in there, but I guess I do, obviously. Malcolm, what's up, buddy? BRB, alright, Landy. We shall see you momentarily then, sir. We shall see you momentarily. It's a pretty big map, though. But it's nice to see that it's not all square fields. There are some square-ish fields, which is kind of cool. So... But yeah, you're right, Beavis. That probably is the reason why. Because, like, like I said, usually when you use the uh, when you just harvest the crop, it usually disappears. So, do you have any good semi mods? Uh, yes, there are a few of them out there. Look at that turning circle, man. That's fantastic. Do you have any good semi mods? Yeah, oh, there's a couple out there. The Tatra actually from the Gold Edition is pretty nice. What is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, what a terrible song. I need to go through these and like ch take out some of these songs. <laughs> wow. Some of them are like, what? Really? Okay. Nope, oh, there's a potato harvester, a potato. Unloader guy, he's currently unloading. Very nice. Uh, why do you have the GPS on when you're not using it? I am using the GPS. Welcome back, Serious Gamer. It does seem that way a bit, Beavis. That's why I was like, really? I'm like, okay. I don't know if I can change it. No, I don't have that button set up on this keyboard. Uh, I am totally using the GPS mod. You just can't see the... Uh, you just can't see uh, the lines, that's all. Have you heard about the Homer DLC? I definitely have heard about the Homer DLC and I already, I already have it, I already have a key for it. I am playing Farm Simulator too. cool man. It's all good Catherine, you just can't see the, so like when I do that, now you can see the lines, so. But then you can see, you should be able to see the, there it is, the camera. I don't know why it does that, but it does. What's up, Silver? Yes, Silver, how you doing today? I saw you got the honorable mention from Daggerwin himself. Uh, I think it was, yeah. 
I think it's in his feature channels. What, how, how do they describe it as? Incredible channels or incredible friends or something like that? I forget. But I just happened to notice it when I was looking at uh, a couple things the other day. Did you see the new pics of FS17? Oh, I did not. I did not see the FS17 pictures, no. How do they look, serious? Good? Bad? So-so? Uh, this, this, whoa, it does, yeah. Okay, how are you? I'm doing well. I am doing well. So the, uh, what we'll do here is, oh, it's just, what was it like today, the announcement? That's probably why I haven't heard about it yet. I'm building Manchester from your top five videos. Cool, man. It was pictured in 8737. Cool. Yeah, there's going to be some nice tractors in there. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. I'm glad that they're getting new crops. Yeah, it looked like there was new crops in here. So for those people who are asking about the pipe cam, you can do this. And that's with the drive control, of course. Typical Giants propaganda. <laughs> Off the lunch. All right, Norm, thanks for stopping by. Hey, man, have a good day. I don't know how this makes it into a dance. I just went, I just went through the dance music and was like, okay, we'll try, try the dance music today. So far, the best one I've, all the music I've heard, yeah, the best one I should say is all the rock music. But all the other music has been like, ah, uh, kind of meh. There we go. You should try a new map called Lochmithi. Uh, I have not heard of that one. Is that like new, like today new? And I'm back. Welcome back, Will. Oh, Massy Ferguson stuck in the hedge. Watch this. Silly Massy. That's what I get for using course play. It was just put up for download yesterday. Cheers, Ian. You're just combining away. Yeah, where is it up for download? Is it on uh, FSUK? Ugh, one of these days I need to get a different pair of headphones. I don't see it in FSUK. There we go. It's annoying. Uh, where did you get your GPS mod from? Uh, Modhoster.com. Do you remember the Idaho series in FS13? You better believe I did. It's on FSUK. I don't think so. I just looked. Sandy Bay, Penberlin Farm, but I don't see any uh, Lochmithi, unless it's older than the ones that are there. LS, LS 2015. Okay. That map is on Mod Hoster. Ah, that's why. Can you make a mod? I could make a mod but I don't have the patience for it. Honestly. Honestly, I don't. Which is why I've, I haven't really made a map yet. Although it's, I've considered it a couple times now. But I don't know if it'd be making a map so much as it would be altering maps that I already play on. Oh, they came out yesterday? Oh, okay, maybe that's why. All right. Take the turn. Perfect. I'll have to do it slower. There we go. This is for uh, cinematic presence right now. <laughs> that's what that's all about. <laughs> These things in real life, like you don't see, I, I usually what people do with these kind of like these setups, they don't actually, um, they'll have like a wind rower that'll actually put the uh, the potatoes like in the center, and then they'll, this guy will come by and pick it up, and then they have like a truck beside it all the time. 
I'm just being ridiculous. <laughs> People have asked for potatoes, so I started harvesting potatoes. But yes, I can do something else. Sure, that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Uh, calculate. Let's do 23. Yes. Yes. And we'll just do know, 6. Deal 23. What shall we do instead then? Starting home, northwest, heading east. And we'll do the headlands after. And the nearest one is. What shall we do? Can I plant soybeans? I don't know if you can. That's a huge tato farm. There's a huge tato farm near the used to pull behind our stairs. Yeah, the pull ones are pretty crazy. Buy animals. It's all good. It's all good. Buy animals. See, the problem if we buy animals right now is that uh, we won't see any of the effects in, for a while yet. Uh, let's go for beef cattle. All right, if you are if you can't handle flashing screens, look away now. There we go, we got like 50. 42, sure, that works for me. All right, so we need some, need to do a little bit of mowing. Now we do have a 35. Oh, there's a field right here we can mow. This is the... F really? Why do the things get stuck in here? Farmer Pickles, what's up, buddy? Can I do some forestry? Ooh, forestry is definitely not my thing. I would have to set up my side panel better for forestry. Um, it is definitely not set up for it at all right now. We do have... Um, yeah, we should have... Uh, did I not pick those up? I thought I did. Yeah, we totally did. Maybe they're just at the shop still. Nope. Are they like just like, they must be just right there. I'm just blind. Uh, what version of course play is this? Uh, I have the developer version. Oh yeah, I'm just totally blind. Oh, actually I don't know if these tractor, that's the one problem I kind of noticed about these tractors. They're actually kind of low horsepower. 140, yeah, we should be fine actually. Now they're kind of low horsepower actually. All right, let's grab this guy right here. And keep going. Grab this. There we go. This is a pretty nice little setup. Lower those down. Turn around. We don't have a rake though, do we? That's easy. Easy fix. Johnson's gonna have a hard time on farm sim this year. Why do you say that, Sirius? There we go. Where did I get it? Uh, from GitHub. That's where I got it from. You should use a Chrome Big M for my OB. Uh, I thought about it actually. That's my favorite mower to use, but cattle and crops looks great. You're right, serious. But that's all. It, that's all it is right now. It just looks great. That's all we can. That's all we can get. That's all we know. Other than that, it may not be very good at all. Wow, this field is like totally like just a mess. Four-wheel drive, yes please. It looks great, but well, that's it. Uh, let's put that on. They have indoor sound. Uh, this does too. Like a lot of the, um, 
A lot of the uh, the modded ones do too. There we go. I have the converted and more pack from FS13, and then we'll have have it fully working for FS15. Nice. Uh, moving levers when you activate the blinkers. I did see that. That was pretty cool, too. Like, if that is part of every tractor... But you're right. Because th these are mods I'm referring to and not the base game, you're right, Sirius. Um, <coughs> you're right. Giants does have the work cut out from this year. Because of that. Oh my goodness. So slow. I think I'm in like in the pasture. I'm gonna cut in here. The full pack wheel? I don't know. You might. I am looking forward to cattle. <laughs> Everyone's asking about that today. Yes, it looks fantastic. I'm uh, I'm actually impressed. Uh, but it's only alpha, so we won't see a beta, and they may not bring people in for the beta, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. If we do see something in, something soon, that'll be great. But as far as I know right now, we haven't seen anything else than what they've showed us, so... But, it does look promising, let's just say that. I can't wait for SF17. Hey man, I'm curious, I'm more curious about cattle and crops right now. If Giants doesn't step it up, Cattle and Crops is going to take my uh, my vote. Massey having a bit of a moment with those mowers, eh? Can't handle the hill, man. Can't handle the hill. Look at this. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Let's see if that's... Oh, that's good enough. Going straight up the hill does not like it at all. Not at all. There we go. Uh, I'm sure they won't take it out. They put a lot of emphasis on... Need an MB track. Unfortunately, we are in the Britons. I wish they had to do an open beta so you can play it for like 15 hours or so. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. You should see the hills people mow in the UK. Yeah, exactly. Steeper than them. I'm sure. I'm sure they are steep. I could go across the hill, that's true. I don't know if it'd be any faster because I waste most of my time on turning, so... That's the problem I'd run into there. But we can try. Once you get on the level ground, it's not so bad, but... Even this little tiny hill is kind of a... Uh, because how powerful is this tractor? This one is the... Uh, the 66, I think it's like 200 or something. Let's go across. Like Catherine suggests. Biased? Me? Never. No, you are never biased, Beavis. Never, never, ever biased. I found the turning circle on these masses are kind of big, actually. I don't know if anybody else has found that, but I found them, like, the turning circle's, like, pretty... Like, a lot bigger than it should be, it seems like. Like, for, the, for whatever reason, it feels like I have to make like an enormous turn with them. I can't make like a tight turn. I don't know. Do you feel the same way? What's up with the steel mills down for the... Whoa. What's up, man? The steel mill is down for a minute. Hey, man. How's it going? What's my favorite tractor? There's a couple of them, actually. I have a hard time thinking about what my favorite tractor is. There's quite a few of them, actually, that are pretty slick. I'm a Mercedes fanboy. You kind of are, Beavis. You kind of are. Just kind of. Alright, there we go. 
IMO, MB is overpriced junk. <laughs> uh, the old ones, maybe. Mass is not my favorite ones now. These ones, these mods are good, but they're not that good. There's little things that irk me about them already. And I have barely used them at all. Which is unfortunate, really. Because they, in my mind, they were supposed to be better than this. But they have some little things that are a little quirky. Ford 7000, man. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. This map is kind of bad. What? Why do you say it's kind of bad, man? What do you think about this map? That's eh, not too bad. It's not my favorite map. It's not my least favorite map, that's for sure. Hey. I'm nearly insulted. I think you mean insulted. But yeah, uh, I don't mean to insult you. I just, they're not my favorite, that's all. I, uh... They look nice, but they have some problems with them, so... I can't do anything about that. I could adjust them, but then... Yeah, I... I okay, it's not just me, George. Like, because I, when I first turned them around, I'm like, really? That's a huge turning circle. I'm like, what's going around? What's, like, what's the problem here? It seems a little bit, uh... It seems like they're a little bit, you know... Like I'm turning around like a Titanic or something. Massey was good before they were bought by Case and spun off, spun off to Agco. Yeah. It's all good. Just need a little bit more power. Just a tinsy wincy bit. I think even if you had like a bigger tractor, I don't think it'd make a difference. It'd probably still be the same thing. Yeah, they were bought by Ico a while back. My favorite tractor in real life would be a John Deere 2130. They're pretty good tractors. I like the 4000 series, personally. 4230 with a turbo. They're pretty nice tractors. Maybe could use a few more degrees of steering lock. Yeah, just a tinsy wincy bit. That's what it feels like. For the most for most things, it's probably fine. But, like, if you have, like, a, a rake... Not a rake, um cultivator on the back of this and you're doing like three-point turn type scenarios it'd be a pain like this is me turning like with the wheel cranked all the way just put it in perspective uh, I spent 60 hours on it and I would not and it would not load so then I redone it tried again 30 hours later same that sucks for it that's too bad it's always nice when you have, uh, when you enjoy a map and you play on it, and then, or it's always sad when that happens, I should say. There we go. Yeah, everyone mow, mower, everyone mower works. There we go. Man, the turning circle, look at that. We have a 6400, 6420, that close enough to the 4000 series. I've never been, I think, I can't remember if I've been in the 6000 series or not. Anyways, what we'll do is, that's probably enough grass to be honest with you. So we're just going to stop there. Because I don't think we need more than that, to be honest. Can you change the face cam so we can see the wheel? Uh, no, I don't have that set up. That would be difficult to do in a short amount of time. All right, there we go, and let's detach that. Ooh. And detach that. All right. The face cam is all about the beard. <laughs> uh, we need a rake. Um, do we have any good rakes? No, not really. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for the Pottinger rake, sure, why not? It's probably overkill, but... 
Uh, hmm. Do we need a 10 first? Doesn't really make a difference. right here. There we go. Yeah, this is probably a little bit overkill. <laughs> this looked easy with you, but... Uh, you can tell me what tractor you like in FS15. I can edit it for you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to double check that, actually. There's quite a few I like. How much longer will you be live? Not too much longer, Donald. Not too much longer. I don't stream for much more than two hours. I get tired. And... I get hungry usually, because when I stream it's like... Right during lunchtime. Every time. What mods do I have? Quite a few. Quite a few. Welcome back, Malcolm. Hope you're doing well, sir. Drop the cruise control down. Hello, Ryan. How are you doing today? It's funny. I have quite a few, <laughs> quite a few friends with the name Ryan. I don't know why, but like, I don't know what it is about that name. But it seems like all my closest friends are named Ryan. Are or have been, which is the weird part. There we go. Someone's gonna tell me I shouldn't do the headland first, but that's fine. It's always the case. There's always a better way to do it. Always. I have Soil Mon. Happy to see you streaming. Yeah, that's cool, man. I'm happy to, that you're able to pop in for a bit and say hello. It's very rare that you get a chance to do that. Very rare. Uh, when I put Manchester in my mods folder, it won't load my game. It might be because you don't have all the appropriate mods. Sometimes when you don't have all the mods, uh, the map won't work properly. So. Uh, ensure that you have all the appropriate mods first and then try and fire it up. That's usually usually how uh, what usually fixes it. Do the headland first. Everyone has a different way of doing it. I usually do the headland last, but doing the headland first is, make, is good because it means you don't have to uh, means you don't have to uh, run over the same stuff all the time. How do you get the tamer to turn back and forth when you're look when you're backing up? That's a mod called the keyboard turning mod, or the better keyboard steering mod. That's what that one's called. So when I'm driving in cab like this, that's what the mod that does that. There we go. Mark, we need to change the name of Manchester to an acceptable name for our Oh yeah, that that's the other thing you have to do too. Probably need to change the name of the map file. Yep. Like they said, that's the other thing you probably have to do too. There we go. Very nice. Didn't even know you were back, Landy. You were being all sneaky over there. Hello, I'm new. Now, I'm assuming your name is Jose, which is cool. Hello, Jose. I'm falling in... LOL, I am falling, failing, I'm trying to PUM, you will. G plus being weird. Yeah, it has been a bit strange. I think if you just... Uh, I, I totally missed it, Landy. <laughs> I totally missed it, obviously. I was looking, and... Uh, I must have missed it. Landy, you're going to stream tonight? Actually, yeah. Landy does stream on... Uh, usually, but I don't think he'll stream tonight. Maybe he will. He probably want to relax a little bit, considering he just got back from Canada. But you never know. Have you... sold some bales on... Tungstorf yet? I have not. I have not, actually. I have not even looked... Unfortunately for you, I guess. I have not, uh, have not left now. There we go. Let's do this. There we go. 
Let's just do this right through here. What I'll do is I'll leave that center part right there. Because what I'll do is I'll come around later, maybe, and mow the rest of that up. That's probably good. You don't need much more than that. Gonna eat. See you guys later. Talk later, serious man. Thanks for coming, stopping by. The only reason why I got Ephesus is because the forestry. Really? I guess if you like forestry. Alright, let's drop this right here. Let's check on... Oh, there he is. He's good still, apparently. This guy's finishing up. Apparently he's not finishing up. Where is he? Heck is he? Oh, I know what happened. That's funny. Um, yeah, I know exactly what happened. That's too funny. Let's just set this guy up for the nearest. Yeah, he was set to... Uh, waypoint maybe all right so let's grab this guy again and now should we use the loading wagon or bail it I'm gonna go for the loading wagon I think because we have bailed a lot I feel like I've bailed a lot lately so how much have I missed uh this is not nothing too crazy uh, also to go. See you guys. All right, man. Have a good day. Any idea on something? Any idea on something good to record? What do you mean, Kyle? You should do a series for the West Coast map when it comes out. I'm sure there'll be lots of people doing a series on the West Coast map when it comes out. Declan, what's up? Really? It doesn't want to work that way. Hmm. Weird. Uh, okay. There we go. There we go. James, what's up, buddy? Bail half and then they have to use the for a dragon. I could do that. Apparently I'm gonna get a lot of one of the cool things if you look carefully actually, one of the neat things is if you can see how big the uh pile is right there. When do we learn about uh, FS-17? Whenever Giants feels it's necessary. They're taking their time as per usual. I'm looking for a map or something that would be fun to play and record. Um, hmm. I liked Hardworking. Hardworking was a cool map. Not easy, but good. And it means you kind of combined forestry and some non forest related stuff, so it wasn't too bad. I had a bit of a mix. Where's a good place to get Animal Hauler? The OEB Animal Hauler is pretty good. Um, in my opinion. I'm looking for a map, yeah. Yeah, but the OEB one is pretty good. This guy's stuck. What the heck is he stuck on? Edge. How on earth did he get stuck? Like seriously. There we go. Of course, man. Craziness. It's like the edge of the universe over there. There he goes. Do you know when FS17 comes out? I'm assuming it's the same time as usual, which is going to be like October 2016. That's my guess. That's usually when they bring stuff out. Hardworking 3. Yep, the latest one. Do you like the mask pack? It's not too bad. It's got some problems with it, but it's pretty good. 
But overall, it's pretty good, yeah. Very good place to get semi-animal trailer. I would suggest American Eagle Modding. They're pretty good for that kind of stuff. Um, that's usually where I get my semis from. Usually. Oh, this is too heavy for this tractor. Tractor's having a hard time steering now. Don't know why, but too much weight, I guess. This is a smaller trailer. Jeez, if I had picking up, picked the bigger one, that would have been terrible. You looked and it didn't see one. Oh, maybe there wasn't one there. I thought they had. They had some semis, but I don't know if they have. Uh, uh, yeah, the Mara one's good too. It all depends on what you're looking for, really. This would be way too fast. Could you imagine doing that? 30 kilometers an hour down a hill with that much weight behind you? Yikes. That'd be a bit scary. Just saying. Turn. There we go. Go back up the hill, and then I think we'll take this to uh, wherever the cows are. Where are the cows on this map? I guess the main farm? Really? You're having a, a hard time here, aren't you? Jeez. That would have helped if I put a weight in the front, but oh well. How come you didn't mow the little patch there? Ah, uh, just to save time. That's the only reason why. Uh, what is a good map to play on? This map's not bad. Lance, what's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying a lovely Saturday afternoon. My favorite map's probably Manchester. Zoltan, what's up, buddy? How are you doing today? Haven't seen you in a while. Or feels like it's been a while, at least. There we go. Excellent. What we'll do is we'll finish up this pass and then head to the animals. And I guess all the animals are right here then. It seems like at least. Parish, what's up? Hmm. Are all the animals right here? Uh, do I need good Vultra mods? No. There's someone mod hoster. Kenneth, how's it going? Leaders delayed my errands long enough. Alright, James, have a good day, man. Now, this is the dairy cattle, but where is the other cattle? Uh, are they really way up there? The beef rat willow farms? There's no. Hmm. All right, we'll take a little bit of a jaunt up there then. Up to Willow Farms we go. All right, uh, head north along here. Take it easy down this hill because it'll be a little rough. I don't know if this Massey could honestly handle this trailer. Seriously. Because this is like a 200 and... What is it? 66, 16. What is this one? 200 and something? 158? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, I think that's a little underpowered for that trailer. This apparently needs 180 though. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Huh. Thought it seemed a bit light. By Willow Farm, thanks, Mike. You're back again. Welcome back. All right, we are heading up to Willow Farm then, and don't want to take all back roads, but 
Take a little bit of a jaunt up there. And... There we go. This tractor has it too? Oh gosh, that's annoying. Alright. <laughs> My foot's like fully down on the throttle. We're not making very much headway. So this is why you need a bit more of a powerful tractor. So this tractor apparently is only 150, 150 horsepower, which is why I had so much trouble on the hills. So, unfortunate. This is a super narrow lane. Holy smokes. Um, left. I don't know why I decided to do this with this particular trailer, but... I wouldn't go down a hill that steep in real life with a load like that. Yeah, I know, right? I started the stream about two hours ago, Zoltan. Now we get a, it's a scenic route. Take the scenic route. This music. <laughs> I know, man. I just I just randomly pu pulled all like the electronic music and started playing it, and like so far it's like all over the place. straight give way I guess that means yield or that's what it's supposed to mean at least um, let's stay on this one right here all right there we go Do you use a side tech side panel? Yep, every day. Give way means indicate? Why don't I just say indicate then? Wouldn't that be shorter? I don't see how people from Europe can fit tractors down those tight lanes. I don't know, man. Apparently they can, though. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, let's not take that route. Look at that. Apparently you're supposed to be able to fit a tractor down there. Sheesh. Uh, if you want to see a mean hill, come come see me. We have a really stiff hill to go up. 740. Oh, crazy. Stuart, what's up, buddy? Thanks again. Hope you're doing well, sir. It's been a long time, so I think, you've had, think we've had you on the stream. Hope you're having a good day, man. All right, now this is our turn right here. My favorite Canadian rock band? There actually aren't a crazy amount of Canadian rock bands. Uh, the Guess Who. Uh, da, 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 da. So this is the alternative route. That seems a bit safer to take than uh, the other route. I have a G27 is what I use. That's the wheel I have. It's a G27. <laughs> I really, I really should should have used a better tractor for this. <laughs> yeah. This is like a 400 horsepower, 300 horsepower type scenario. This is a tiny hill too. It's not even that big of a hill. Yeah, had a good, yeah, had a good. We did a lot of catching up on work. Didn't get done last week. The poor Massey is struggling, man. 150 horsepower tractor with this load in the back. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, I'm kind of surprised actually that it didn't give me the warning saying this tractor can't handle this. But it didn't, so. I think you need some more deer power. I have a couple pretty powerful deers actually, but they'd be too big for this farm. In real life, you would be leaving skid marks on the road. Look at your spinning tires. I know, right, Declan? It would probably help that uh, if I had like some weight in the front too. In reality, in my village, England, there's loads of Z tours. Nice. I don't really see many Z tours in my area. It's 
pulling 34 tons. Yeah. A light load. Alright, so let's take this route right here, because this is Willow Farms apparently. I don't know if we're supposed to go down this road, but it doesn't say we can't, so we're going to do it. Is there a live stream every weekend? Yep, usually on Saturdays. Ian, you would be surprised to get a K-Squad track on that farm. Yeah! This must be one of those infamous... No, that's just an entrance to the field. I thought it was like a passing lane area. So this is the farm road, I guess. There we go. Uh, you can pull dual tires on the Massies. You can, but I don't think it makes a difference. And I don't think in England you can have dual tires on. I don't think. I don't know what the rules are specifically. But. So, this is... This little area. So this is the... The farm right here. This is where the cows and pigs are. Open sesame! No, I want them both to open. Alright, so here's the cows. Alright, Ryan, thanks for stopping by, eh? Much appreciated, sir. Can I get this in here? Oh, yeah, no problem. Assuming this is the trigger point, it should be. Yes, Ian, you can go down the road with duels, but you need to escort vehicle from in front of you. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure about that. There we go. Fed the cows. There's a little bit of manure there, apparently. Looks like we need to manually remove the manure. <laughs> Putting dew wheels on tires and then going downhill, going down lanes doesn't end well. I can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. The slurry. Perfect. So this is the other farm. Let's detach this trailer. Take a look around this other farm. So this is the pigs. Must be at least. Uh, that's just a little spot to store things. And that is a silage clamp. Just the same thing on our side. Hmm. Let's check out this little storage area here. I actually have some friends who went down a combine hill. With, or not went down a com went down a road with a combine and uh, with the header on. <laughs> they just blocked traffic. Crazy guys. Well, that's a nice big storage area. What is up with that though? What? There's like an invisible wall, like right here. That's weird. Yeah, there's like an invisible wall, like right there. Oh, what button is it? Must be the edge of this wall right here. That's weird. Very odd. Hmm. Just a storage area. Doesn't look like you store anything, like any fruit or anything like there, or crops, I should say. There you go. That's weird that I can't open this one. Oh, there it goes. Just didn't get close enough, I guess. Hmm. Not too bad. Let's check out the other side real quick. What, what button do you press for collisions? Uh, F4. I believe that just gives you... Uh, I don't think it's a collisions per se. I think it's just the... Uh, I forget what they call that one. Polygons, I think. Uh, in real life, we were moving combine, header down the lane, folded up the year. 1 to 10, good. How good is this map? Well, I think it's like a 7 or 8, somewhere in there. 
It's pretty good. If you like English maps, it definitely is up your alley. Not for everybody, of course, but for a lot of people, they'll like it. And this is a Willow Farm, established in 1991. There we go. I started using soil mod the other day, losing a lot of crops <laughs> while I get used to it. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. And this is your other farm area. I like this farm. Nowhere to put the manure, is there? Ah, uh, it doesn't, didn't look like it. It didn't look like it. Can I drive underneath one of these? I'm gonna go try. There you go. That's more storage areas. And then you have, is that a clamp back there? Is that just a huge field? That's such a huge field. Is that stored back in there? I don't know, what's the deal with the, the, the straw around these? Do they do that in real life? Do they put straw around a sugar beet pile like that? What's in here? This must be just for, well, there's a potato storage again. That's much easier to get to. Do they have a little area over here for the actual grain? Let's just see. Why do they have these huge grain things here if you can't, there's nothing actually that really goes into them? Maybe I'm just missing something here. Let's check around the other side real quick. That doesn't make any sense. Yes. There's fuel. What on earth? Storage. Yeah, is that the weird door thing again? Water. Warning, not drinking water. Oh, thanks for the warning. And that must be a cell point, yeah. Is there, am I missing something? Like, why would you have these huge silos here if they don't, if there's nowhere to actually put this stuff in the silos? By the cow shed, main farm. Yes, in real life, there's somebody's put straw bales around sugar beets, but heat. Okay. Hmm. And this is just the other door for potatoes. But why do they have these huge silos here and there's nothing that relates to them? Ooh, I picked up a gold coin. Great. Hmm. That seems strange. Because look, you have like these grain, huge grain things right here, grain silos, but there's nothing. Yeah, and it's around over the other side near the grass. Is it? Is it back in here? Is this seriously where you drop it off? Like, nothing in here. Why put them there then if they don't do anything? That seems so ridiculous. That seems as if, cause like, if I see those, I'm like, oh, hey, I can store grain here. But nope, they're there for looks. <laughs> Behind me, I didn't see anything that was any kind of storage area there. So let's go and open these gates and see if we can find it. Pretty picture right there. Mass Ferguson's. Drop off the grain is by the big shed where you are, Ian. Is it? I must be missing something then. Like, it must not be in an obvious spot. There's nothing there. Like, unless it's in, like, these areas here. Like, are they, like, loose storage then or something? Hmm. If you turn around and follow the grass, you should see it. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay. 
turning around, following the grass. Behind the shed? Alright. I am behind the shed now. Is this seriously it right here? Is that that looks like storage to me? There's nothing else in here. In our life, grandma here's news to put green in. Northwest F7. But why do they have one those way over there then? <laughs> like, like maybe it just seems like a little strange. Anyways, I see you're saying now, boys. I was like full, like, <laughs> oh, like, uh, so that's right there apparently. Okay. Okay. It's just there for looks. It's a nice setup though. Nice setup. Anyways. <laughs> After all that, it's just a little tiny thing over here in the corner, but it's not no huge grain bins over there. Go figure. Ah, yoy. I hate when that stuff happens and it's not obvious. And here's more grain storage here. Okay. Well, makes sense, I guess, now. And this must be the other side. Yeah. Yep, it's... Yep, it's weird. It shows up in two big sheds next to you. You can take it out with a wheel loader. Excellent. Uh, multi fruits is in the shed behind your pigs and beef. Ah, okay. This guy's doing his thing. So this is... So the little sheds, these silos right here do nothing. It's that one actually back there. Gotcha. Okay. Stop. Alright, let's take a look at... Now, they were saying storage for the other vegetables and fruits, crops, is over here with these guys. And this is what UK Simmer 1 is saying. Over here somewhere is where we store the other things. So I'm assuming it's in here, but it's not obvious. Okay, cool. It's not too bad. Alright, folks, that is it for me for today. I. Enjoy this map. It's pretty look, looks pretty nice, actually. Um, apparently it takes forever to harvest potatoes, but that's okay. That's pretty normal. Anyways, that's it for me for today, folks. My name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this little look-see, so to speak, of uh, Sandy Bay Gold Edition. Looks like a nice map. If you're into the UK, definitely check it out. If you're not, maybe not. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Farming Simulator. My name's Ian Robson. 